osteoporosis so you know that what is osteoporosis many times you have observed that in uh, your home or your family members are there or we can say that your grandfather is there grandmother is there uh, they are fall uh, on the ground and because of that sometime uh, the bone fractures are there that is occurs and the uh, sometime the physician also told you that the uh, the age is there is too much uh, high so that the bones are there that are not to be healed so that's very difficult to make operations on this one uh, aged person also why this is to be happened no what are the differentiation between the children's uh, age adults age and the old age oh, what type of the structural changes are there that should be appear so that we are going to take much more precautions rather than the prevent uh, pre prevention is there uh, so that uh, the old age persons are there that is not to be fall on the ground or anywhere they are uh, not fall we are going to take uh, much more attention uh, to protect them because if there is a fracture there is to be occur in the bone the bones are there that is not to be healed properly and because the not only the calcium is there is uh, to be deposited or less amount of the calcium is there should be available but the bones the healing rate of the bone is there is also goes on decreasing and sometime as the age is increases there is a structural or we can say that architectural deformity or we can say that deterioration of the bone is occur i told you repeatedly uh, architectural deterioration you know that uh, what is this one yes this is the architectural structure what is the uh, which type of the structure is there you observe here anywhere yes these are the cuttings are there which are to be observed but these are the cuttings are there uh, these are mostly found in the bones uh, you you uh, know that uh, this is such a the structure is present in the bone no sure yes uh this structure is there should be present that's why i am told you that the architectural deterioration means a particular design is there we can say that this is prepared by the architecture the deterioration of the bone is there should occur because the arrangement of the cells are there is like quite that and the cells are there that are uh, destroyed uh, because of which the structure is there should be obtained likewise and because of this the bone become too much soft so the slight touch or the slight shock they may cause the breakage of the bone and you know the importance of the bone our whole body is to be totally be, uh, supported by the bones if the bones are there that are not present in our body then our body is not having the particular shape and the size is there so bone plays an important role and as as the age increases the, the bone become much more softer or we can say that the fragile one this is the second one is there are these are the first two are the normal bones are there there is a toughness is there that you have to be observed uh, whereas in the last two bones uh, the deterioration is there show for what is the gaps are there which are to be observed the porosity is much more in such type of the bone that is the deterioration is there in the third one figure we say that in the most of the wrinkles are there in the vertebra Uh, such type of the bones uh, structures are there that are to be observed. Uh, in this case, you are to be observed that uh, here the deformation or the breakings are there that is to be observed because of the accidental cases. And here the deterioration of the bone is occur because of which the old persons are there that is uh, bending in their shoe found or they are not able to uh, walk properly. Likewise, the uh, to hold the body position properly. this is because of this one here also we see that this is your healthy bone is here where the cells are there that are to be compactly arranged where where is in case of this one bone you have to be observe that some of the uh, holes are there that are become more this is because of the porosity is there means porosity in the old person see there that is we increase we can say that the structural or we can say that architectural deterioration is there is more and because of which such type of the structure is observed uh, here this is uh, the femur is the most important bone is the strongest bone in our body is there and in this one uh, femur in the structural deformity is there is to occur these pelvic bones are there uh, here the much more uh, 
structures are there that you have to be observed and there is a much more porosity is increased so that the patient is unable to stand properly and the bones are unable to withstand that one particular load also this is the next one is there why this is occur this is the your normal bone is there and this is your pore this is your normal bone is there and this is your porous bone is there in this one porous bone the structure uh, or the what are the vacuoles are there that are much more larger and the inner material is there or we can say that matrix is there is too much lesser or uh, less denser is there that you have to be observed here and this is your normal bone is there and all these things that leads to the that is nothing but your osteoporosis is there now uh, in detail we see that what is osteoporosis osteoporosis is a systematic skeletal disease is there that is mostly found in the old age person that is uh, age about the 60 year to 70 years is there in that case the calcium uh, uh, is very less amount of the calcium is there that is we absorb and in women because of the certain disease conditions are there or the hormonal changes are there such type of the structures are there that should be occurred and which leads to the bone density you know that density mass upon volume the low bone density is there in adult the highest bone density is there should be observed whereas in case of the old age person the bone density is there is low a micro architecture micro architecture deterioration of the bone and the tissues are there that is we observe in this case and that enhances the bone friability means the bone become too much softer uh, because of this one friability and increases the risk of the fractures if they are issue observed now osteoporosis uh, by world health organization that they define bone marrow density uh, is there is about 2.5 uh, is there that is a standard deviation is there is over 2.5 or more below the mean of the young healthy adult of the some uh, gender t score there is at or below the 2.5 this is the highest standard is there that it should be defined that is the bone marrow density is there <coughs> uh, a survey is there uh, in case of the epidemiology a survey is there should be carried out in that case uh, behind the three healthy woman one woman is there that she is after the 50 years of age is suffer by this one osteoporosis whereas the uh, behind the five mains after the age of uh, 50 the one main is suffer by the osteoporosis means the percentage of the woman in uh, suffer by the osteoporosis is there the 30 to 50 percent whereas the mains are suffer by only the 50 to 15 to 30 percent is there and that is also uh, related to the uh, osteoporosis in the lifetime is there peak incidence in case of the western uh, country 70 to 80 years are there and in india the peak is there that is near about 50 to 60 is there where the percentage of this one sufferer of the osteoporosis is there now in women it is near about uh, three times more than the men low peak bone mass in short it is known as a pbm uh, this is also responsible to cause osteoporosis if the bone mass uh, we can say that become a uh, bone mass if there is way more as the in the adult age whereas it is decreases in case of the old age person some of the hormonal changes are there that is should be carried out uh, as in case of the woman, the menopause is there because of the menopause, some of the hormonal changes is carried out, and these hormonal changes can lead to the decalcification in the removal of the or the wastage of the calcium through the excretory system, and also the some of the changes are there that you carried out uh, that leads to the osteoporosis also then live longer than means. Then uh, some of the vertebras and the reefs are there that are more common in women. Means the osteoporosis is mostly found in case of the reefs as well as the vertebra. That women are there that are more sufferer uh, by this one osteoporosis in this one particular organs uh, is there. Now uh, 
uh, as we see that the bones it contain the matrix and the cells are there that are two, two main components of the bones are there matrix we can consider uh, there is a uh, organic and the inorganic contents are there that are found in case of the bone uh, uh, inorganic content that include your calcium and the phosphorus uh, anyone can ask you what is the components of the bone we can say that the calcium uh, phosphates are there that are to be uh, found more so these are the inorganic components are there organic components that include your collagen is there then non collagenous <coughs> material is there then nucleo polysaccharides are there then uh, cells are there if we consider cell that is include your osteo uh, progenitors are there then osteo cycles are there osteo blasts is there then osteoclasts these are the components of the cells are there in the bones are there then what is osteocytes osteocytes are nothing but are the mononuclear cells in mineralized matrix in the in the matrix there is a mononuclear cells are there that are to be present this osteocytes are nothing but osteoblasts that is to be trapped in the matrix they are secret they are the network to each other means they are to be connected with each other uh, via long cytoplasmic uh, extension that occupies tiny canals they are to be called canaculi which are used for the exchange of the nutrients with the uh, waste through the gap junctions you know that what is this one uh, these osteocytes are there that is nothing but the a network of the each other uh, via the long system cytoplasmic extension that occupy the tiny canal means the smaller canals are there that are to be present that smaller tiny canals are there that is to be known as canaculi is there which are used for the exchange uh, through this one channel so that we can say that uh, canaculi the exchange of the nutrients uh, as well as the waste is there should be carried out to the junctions are there under the influence of uh, parathyroid hormone they are to be participate in the bone resorption and the calcium ion transport means to reabsorb of the calcium and the transport of the calcium is that are to be carried out by the parathyroid hormone the next one is that is the osteoblast uh, mesen uh, chymal cell derived from uh, mesen chymal cell derived from the marrow uh, stromal cells are there that should be responsible for mineralization of the bone uh, matrix that is responsible for uh, responsible for secretion of the type 1 collagen and a large number of the non collagenous um, bone proteins are there in case of this one uh, osteoblast uh, myelin chymal cells are there that is be derived from the bone stromal uh, cells are there means within the bone marrow the cells are there that are to be uh, present that are to be uh, derived from this one and the main function of this one is there that is a uh, re responsible to mineralization of the bone matrix means what are the mineral contents are there that are to be found more uh, in this one bone matrix and to use uh, hardness to the bones is also responsible for the secretion of the collagen means some of the not only the calcium or the minerals that gives this one hardness to the bone but the stiffness or we can say that strain that is to be obtained because of the collagen and a large number of the non collagenous bone proteins means proteins are also responsible for the various activity for the different type of the metabolism process are there because of which amino acids are there that are to be synthesized where these are to be uh, carried out in case of this one osteoblasts then osteoclast this that is a axillary bone that is reabsorbing cells are there they are to be mostly present in the uh, corners of this one uh, is there that are to be observed these are nothing but your osteoclasts are there that are appear at this uh, high bone turn over there that contain a characteristic trap trap is nothing but a tartrate resistant acid phosphate uh, and carbonic anhydrides are there that are to be observed this you have to remember what are this one osteoblasts osteoclasts is there then uh osteocytes are there these names are there that you have to be remember then matrix the inner material that mostly consists of the uh, collagen and the non collagenous matrix are there uh, in this case there are the two type of the collagen are there type 1 collagen and type 2 collagen type 1 collagen it's scaffold 
on which the mineralization is occur. Mineral formation is occur that is produced by the osteoblast. Here uh, we see that osteoblast is there that should occur, where this gives the mineral formations as well as the collagen formation that gives toughness uh, to the bones along with the protein formation. Uh, then uh, it makes up to the 80% of the unmineralized bone matrix. Means uh, where the minerals are there that are not to be involved, or the production of the uh, minerals are there that is not to be occur. Such 80% uh, portion is there that should be uh, given or produced by this one matrix. Then uh, non collagenous uh, proteins are there, such as uh, osteoproteins are there, then osteonectins are there, then osteocalcin, alkaline phosphates. Uh, these are to be seen. These are the non uh, polygenous material, or we can say that the proteins. Each is the one type of the proteins are there, which is to be responsible for various type of the activities <coughs> are there, which are to be carried out uh, in the bones also, where the blood uh, formation is the most occur in the bone marrow. In that case, that is also in the wall uh, somewhere. Then the functions is a regulation of the bone cells. What the bone cells are there in that case uh, to maintain uh, the this one bone cell that in that case this one non collagenous proteins plays an important role and the mineralization also to provide the proper uh, minerals also then uh, bone morphogenic proteins <coughs> the a collagen uh, of the growth uh, factor uh, proteins is there a collagen is a growth factor protein is there which is very help in the very type of the process where the protein is required the important in the differentiation of the progenitor uh, cells are there that are used uh, in the treatment of the bone defects are there then non unions delay unions are there in some case uh, you have to be observed that the bone defects are there slight uh, portions are there that is not to be uh, found in a proper on the bone so that it creates a problem in that case such type of the uh, materials are there that are to be utilized somewhere. The bones are there that are not to be joined properly, not to be formed union in the fracture. So in that case, such type of the materials are there that are to be utilized, then delay in unions. Uh, most of the time, in case of the old patient also, such type of the materials are there that are to be utilized in the joining of the bones are there. Or some of the deceased persons are there where the calcium deficiency is there, or the uh, we can say that vegetarian persons are there where the collagen are there that are in a less amount in that case such so type of the materials are there that are to be utilized to join bone uh, at a faster rate now the pathophysiology of this one is there that is the next one is there that is a peak bone mass or an osteoporosis peak bone mass is nothing but the maximum mass of the bone which is to be achieved by an individual at the skeletal maturity when are the maturity of the person at what age we say that the person becomes mature the age near about 20 to 30 or we can say that 25 to 30 age is there this is the maturity of that person is there is issue of course most in men as well as the female in both the case the maturity is there should occur so that the bones uh, mass is also Peak bone mass means what is the maximum amount of the mass which is to be observed on the bone. This is the peak bone mass in there. And I say that by healthy person, not by the obese person. Rather than you say that in the old age person, some become obese. So that the, this is a peak bone mass, not like that. A normal person. As compared to other person, if you consider a normal person, in the normal person, not suffered by any type of the disease, not having the obesity, in that healthy person, the peak bone mass, maximum amount of the mass which we observe, that is nothing but is your peak bone mass. After the peak bone mass is attained, both men and, men and the woman uh, lose bone mass. Means as the age is increases, the peak bone mass is also goes on decreasing. As the age increases, uh, many times you have to be observed that much more things are there that should be happens as the age is uh, increases. Because of the increase in age, the some of the hormonal deficiencies of our, your metabolic system is there is not working properly or functioning properly. <clears throat> the some of the uh, same, just like that, the peak bone mass is there is also goes on decreasing as the age increase because of the subsequent bone loss 
pig bone mass is an important factor in the development of the osteoporosis if the pig bone mass is goes on decreasing your bone porosity is goes on increasing that is inversely proportional to each other that is a pig bone mass is inversely proportional to the osteoporosis means pig bone mass increases porosity decreases pig bone mass decreases porosity increases uh now the various factors are there that are to be responsible for this one such as the genetic factor as in the previously we told you that uh we understand that the women are more suffered by the osteoporosis than the male means genetic factor men are less suffered by this one osteoporosis as compared to the women just like male and female these are the genetic factors are there okay in case of the men the pig bone mass is more as compared to the woman now next one is that is nutritional status uh, likewise we said that this, uh, how many type of the persons are there vegetarian and uh, non vegetarian person the vegetarian persons are having a less amount the calcium or the collagenous material because they are to be totally depends on the veg so that uh, some of the less amount of veg are there that you should consume by this one where the non vegetarian persons are there that are to be consumed the high amount of the calcium as well as the proteins are there that you obtain so that the peak bone mass is greater in such type of the persons are there then physical activity some of the persons are there that are uh, going to perform the different type of the activity <clears throat> such as the soldiers are there in this one the physical activity there is more so that the peak bone mass is there is more because they hard working persons are there the soldiers are there they are toughest persons are there so they can fight with each other because <clears throat> of the physical activity there then uh, gonadal status uh, that is also is one of the important factor is there on which the peak bone mass is there is also depend now <clears throat> if we consider the peak bone density versus h is there up to the age uh, 20 uh, the peak bone density is goes on increasing means the we can say that the development stage is there or development age is there that is up to the 20 <coughs> is there then 20 to 30 40 the peak bone density remain constant means what is the density which are to be obtained there is a slight uh, development after development there is a modification or we can say that strength is there is issue occur between the age of 20 to 40 so that the peak bone mass is there is issue obtained in this one particular uh, period that is the age of 20 to 40 is there and after that the peak bone density is there is issue goes on decreasing here the red color lines are there that indicate that the uh, mains uh, in peak bone uh, density is there is more is fastly increases in case of the main as compared to the female which are to be shown by the dotted line then peak density is uh, which is remain constant or the develop that is also less in case of the female as compared to the main and uh, uh, when the peak bone density in the older age is there is that is decreases that is also observed here here there just slight change if there is be observed here this one angle is there is be observed is after the age of 35 to 40 the peak bone density is there is goes on decreasing but at this one age that is the near about 45 years age with a menopause condition is occur because of the calcium uh, deficiency is there should or calcium loss is occur so that the peak bone mass is there is also goes on <coughs> decreasing okay now the bone modeling and remodeling modeling not like they were heroes or they are going to make modeling not like that modeling means during the growth the skeletal uh, skeleton is increases in the size by the formation of the new bone tissue as the growth is occurs the new cells are there that are to be formed old cells are replaced uh, likewise <coughs> but the replacement or the dead cells uh, rate of the dead cell is somewhat slow as compared to the new formation or new regenerating cells so that the growth is there is to be occurs uh, that is a uh, modeling we can say that the size and the formation of the new bone tissue on the outer surface of the cortex remodeling it is a cellular process of the bone activity by which 
the bone cortical and the calcaneal calcaceous bones are maintained in the to arrange or to maintain this one uh, what are the new cells are there that are to be arranged in the particular location that is we occur that is a remodeling means what are the cells are there which are to be synthesized to adjust these cells at a particular location constantly that process is that we carry out the remodeling and the generation or the development of the new cell formation of the new cell that is a modeling is there <coughs> osteoporosis results the bone uh, loss due to the age means in osteoporosis some of the calcium is there that should be losses because of which the uh, bone becomes more softer as well as the fragile one this is the occurs result change in the bone remodeling as well as the extensing as well as the intrinsic factor that exaggerate this process means what is the osteoporosis exactly why this is you of course you know the calcium deficiency is occur or we can say that remodeling is there should be of course so that <clears throat> after the uh, at the uh, decreasing age means towards the older age the somewhat changes are there that should occur because of which the what are the uh, tissues which are to be formed or which are to be set that are to be slips from that one particular location <clears throat> so that the condition is there should be occur and that replacement is there is not to be occur on that one particular location this process is there is nothing but is there osteoporosis the bone remodeling has two main function uh, remodeling uh, in case of the remodeling the uh, two important functions are there that are to be occur <coughs> to repair uh, micro damage some of the damages are there that are you occur repairing of this one uh, micro damage with the skeleton to maintain the skeletal strength means to give a strain to the bone this is to be one of the important function if some of the minor fractures are there to heal that one particular fracture this is the remodeling replacement of that one particular cell by the newer cells and to patch up this one bone that is a we can say that strain or can say that repairing then to supply calcium to maintain the serum calcium level what is the amount of the calcium which are to be enters into our body that is not to be appear as such when they are to be goes into the bones through this one they are to be appears into the serum that is the level important function of this one remodeling then rank or rankle receptors are the rankle and the cytokinin uh, cytokinin are responsible for the combination between the osteoblast and the other uh, marrow cells are there that is a osteoclast that we can say that this is a receptor activated nuclear factor kappa uh, ligand secreted by osteoblast and the certain cells of the immune system rank uh, receptors are present in the osteoclast uh, activation of the rank by the rank l is a final common pathway for, for the osteoclast is there what is osteoclast that we see in the uh, previous slides okay Uh, that osteoclast is there. That uh, pathway is there that should be differentiated, uh, and the functional is to be carried out by the rank one. Means rank is causes the activation. Activation of the rank by the rankal L is a final common pathway for the osteoclast differentiation and the functioning is there. Means osteoclast osteoclast function is totally depends on this one activation of the ranks. Okay. then osteo uh, protein uh, the green is a humeral decoy of the rank is secreted by the osteoblast is there now here we see that the macrophages are there which are to be formed this one macrophages the prefusion uh, osteoclast is there that is show for in just like your lock and key models are there that are to be formed this uh, Keys uh, lock like structure is nothing but is your uh, rank is there, and this one rankle is nothing but is a key like structure is there. Once the lock and key are there that are to be fit, then and then the particular strain is there that is we obtain to this one. This is your osteo uh, blast is there that is a uh, OPG. Then osteo sites are there. Uh, these are osteo sites are there that are to be involved in the formation of this one, and likewise the 
multi nucleated osteoclasts are there that are to be observed and then it causes the activation activated osteoclasts are there that is the bone resorption and the process is there is to be occurred at this one these are the hormones and the growth factors regulating the bone formations are there the interleukin you have to observe that interleukin factors are there then tumor necrosis factor in the various uh, uh, pathogen pathological terms you have to be observed this one interleukins then tumor necrosis factor then granulocytes are there <coughs> Uh, this interleukin, uh, the target cell is there, that is a bone marrow in osteoclast. They show the stimulation of the osteoclasts and the formation as well as the resorption, that is a calci calcium uh, formation as well as the resorption is there to be carried out. Tumor necrosis factor, that is osteoclasts is there, that stimulates the bone resorption uh, process is there. Then leukemic inhibitory factor, osteoblasts or osteoclasts stimulate the osteoblasts and the osteoclasts formation in the bone marrow. <clears throat> Likewise, the different type of the uh, functions are there. Uh, Postagrandin also plays uh, for the stimulation of the resorption of the bone formation. Likewise, parathyroid hormone in the kidney and the bone it causes stimulation in the production of the vitamin D. You know that vitamin D is the most important for the absorption of the cal calcium. Uh, how much uh, amount of the uh, calcium you have to be observed their absorption is to be totally depends on the vitamin d if there is a deficiency of the vitamin d if you have to consume the excess quantity of the suppose 100 percent of the calcium you have to be consumed out of which only the 10 to 20 percent of the calcium is there that should be absorbed because the, the vitamin d is there is not to be present if uh, you have to consume 80 percent of the calcium and if there is a sufficient amount of the vitamin d is there then out of which uh, 80 percent uh, near about 70 percent of the calcium is there that should be absorbed in your body so calcium plays an important role and that is done by this one parathyroid hormones are there likewise the calcitrol estrogen each and every one it plays an important role in case of the bones then uh, classification nordin uh, generalized localized one then rex likewise the uh, Secondary osteoporosis, uh, primary osteoporosis type 1, uh, postmenopausal, and type 2 is there, that is a senile one. Senile one is there, secondary osteoporosis. We see one by one what is this one. Now, the menopause, uh, postmenopausal osteoporosis means once after the menopause in the lady, the menopause condition is there, she will obtain, means the menstrual cycle is there, that is, we stop totally and the condition is there is known as a menopause condition that is caused by the lack of the estrogen which helps to regulate the incorporation of the calcium into the bone in woman uh, calcium uh, if the estrogen is there is not to be present which is responsible for the incorporation of the calcium the lack of the estrogen it increases the bone resorption means the Excess calcium loss is there that you occur uh, in case of this one. Then age-related osteoporosis is there. Usually affect the people over the 70 years of the age are there. In this case, the age-related osteoporosis condition is there should be obtained. Then result from the age-related calcium deficiency is there. Uh, as the age is there, should be goes on increasing. About the 70 years of age, the uh, what are the metabolism process are there that is not to be occur, hormonal changes are there that is occur because of which the our body there is not able to take extra quantity of the calcium so that the calcium deficiency there is to be observed and this, this lead to this lead to the calcium deficiency and leads to the osteoporosis there is a decrease bone formation uh, bone formation is there is not to be occur properly in this one particular case then uh, patient usually present with the fractures of the hip and the vertebrates are there 
they are not to be healed properly or the rate of the healing agent is very slow in case of the old age person. This is the secondary uh, osteoporosis conditions are there, which is we offer in case of this one. Just have to go through this one. Uh, in which uh, case, what is the col uh, collagen uh, and uh, genetic uh, disorders are there? Then medication, then nutritionals are there. Likewise, things are there that uh, have to be mentioned in this one. Then uh, clinical features are there. Uh, in case of the clinical feature, uh, is known as a silent. Uh, this is is there osteoporosis is there is also known as a silent disease which is of course slowly but uh, it is be a uh, steady one uh, means uh, continuously what is the rate is there that it should be a uh, steady one so that this is a silent disease is there the low back act usually um, mild one initially there is a somewhat less amount of the pains are there that is be observed in the wrists are there then in your spinals are there uh, then hip bones are there in this way, uh, hip joints are there, uh, patient complaints uh, somewhat that indicate that um, there is a osteoporosis see there is we started. This is mostly occur at the age of 40 to 50. The loss uh, loss of height is there, then kyphosis is there, fracture, uh, MC vertebra and the hip type of the conditions are there that we appears in this one particular case. These risk factors of the fractures are there that is a major and the minor. The risk factors are there that should be classified into the two classes major and the minus one. Major that includes the age is osteoporosis, which is your for and what is the risk above the age of 70. The condition is there that is your for the high risk is there. Uh, precaution we have to take much more than menopause condition is there in case of the females. The, menopause condition is there is to be offers then hypogonadism is there then fragility fractures are there the, because of the calcium deficiency the bone becomes more, more softer and fragile one so that the healing is there is very difficult in such type of the patient so that uh, it's a major one then glucocorticoids hip fractures are there that which are to be observed then gonna uh, glucocorticoids are there, then high bone, bone uh, turnovers are there, then anorexia, then um, BMI, basal metabolic uh, index is there, uh, that is uh, 18 is there, then immobilization or sedentary uh, life is there. Likewise, these are the nothing but your major factors are there. Minor factors are there, that is uh, estrogen deficiency after the menopause, this one is there, should be of course, then calcium intake. And near about 50 milligram per day, uh, which uh, causes the less amount of the uh, osteoporosis condition than primary hyperparathyroidism, rheumatoid arthritis, then hypercalcemia, uh, calcium uh, urea is there, means excess amount of the calcium loss through the urine is there, then atoconvergence, then diabetes mellitus, smoking, alcohol. This comes in case of the minor is factor means definitely it causes the osteoporosis but which is to be harm which is to be occur because of this one factor is somewhat less as compared to the previous one which are to be covered in case of the major factors here uh, these are the postures are there that are to be given that is the taste which type of the taste and how it is to be uh, confirmed that is the rib pelvic distance just uh, ask the patient to stand in a straight way uh, by a plain uh, wall. Then to identify the lumbar uh, fractures, uh, which are to be observed in this one uh, case, is there then uh, also put to wall distance that is to be measured. Uh, that helps uh, rationally there to help the identify the thoracic spine uh, fractures are there, which are to be observed in this one thoracic cage as well as the spines, uh, spinal one uh, fractures are there that you have to be observed. Likewise, the, uh, this one distance are there that are the major method. Measure the distance between the coastal margin and the pelvic rim uh, on the mid axillary lines are there. These distance are there that are to be measured. 
in this one uh, OSIP to wall uh, distance the state stand state uh, with the hills and the back again the wall the five centimeter not more than five centimeter uh, rises uh, suspension of the vertebral factors are there uh, means two or more two finger distance we can say that two fingers means near about one inch uh, is associated with the vertebral fractures are there then differentiation diagnosis is there that is hypothyroidism is there then packet uh, disease is there then osteomalacia is there likewise the different uh, diagnosis uh, is there that should be carried out in case of this one then work up uh, for the secondary osteosis that is the history of the physical examination with the focus on the secondary cause of the osteoporosis if the uh, patient uh, in the patient's uh, family members are there such as the uh, parents are there grandparents are there then elder brother sisters are there if they have this one disease then uh, very well chances are there that patient may suffer by the osteoporosis perform the complete blood count cbc count to see that it should be performed depends on that the osteoporosis condition is there that should be confirmed then uh, perform the routine blood chemistry test where type of the contents which are to be observed and that is responsible for this one osteoporosis that are to be uh, checked by the routine blood uh, chemistry test is there then det determine the creatine level then blood urea nitrogen total calcium phosphate means how much amount of this one uh, contents are there that are to be present if they are to be present in the normal limit then that indicate that the patient is normal one but if there is a deficiency there and if the patient is there is not having any type of the disease then that indicate that patient may on the way of the osteoporosis if the patient have some of the disease then maybe uh, because of that one particular disease condition patient have the decrease in the level of the calcium phosphate albumin or alkaline phosphate levels is there but if not then patient may suffer by this osteoporosis determine the serum uh, 25 hydroxy uh, vitamin d level if there is also determined then parathyroid hormone then thyroid stimulating hormone which also plays an important role in case of the releasing the vitamin d or utilization of that calcium uh, then perform 24 hours urine test for the calcium and the creatine level that very sharp the analysis are there that are to be performed by which you can uh, consider that the patient is suffered by the osteoporosis or in uh, what is the percentage of the osteoporosis whether it is started or not uh, how much percentage is there likewise what are the deformities which are the occurs likewise this one conditions are there that are which be by this one imaging x-ray uh, nowadays uh, it's a very common practice if you are to suffer by any type of the bone disease a physician asks you just to take the x-ray now on this one uh, x-ray that get the information the postmenopausal osteoporosis then tubercular resorption and the cortical resorption uh, is the, that information is getting this nile osteoporosis that is a industrial resorption then hyper um, parathyroidism that is a sub uh, uh, periosteal resorption conditions are the that is we occur then osteoporosis product increases the radio uh, radio latency of the vertebral bone approximately 30 to 80 percent of the bone tissue must be lost before the recognizable abnormality can be detected on the spinal radiograph means uh, 30 to 80 percent of the bone uh, results are there that are to be clearly observed um, by this one x-ray technique uh, how much percentage is there that is be found and depends on that one uh, rays and uh, x-ray film the spinal radiographs are there that is be detected and the bones uh, osteoporosis condition is there that is also detected <coughs> indication for the vertebral imaging if you are going to take the uh, x-ray of the vertebral all women's age 70 and older and all means about the age 80 uh, older if bmd that is this number dimension is d score is there uh, at the spine 
total hip and uh, femoral neck is um, less than one is there or one is there women's uh, age 65 to 69 year about 70 years and being uh, 70 uh, to 79 if bmd t score is at the spine the total hip of the femoral neck is there is minus 1.5 what is the standard that is near about 2.5 in the second slide we uh, second or third slide we see that this one bmd that is near about 2.5 that is in this one age there is about uh, 1.5 is there okay one or 1.5 in post menopausal uh, women in the woman and the main age uh, 50 uh, and older than the specific risk factors like the low trauma fractures uh, during the adulthood uh, age there is about 50 is there then historical height loss near about 1.5 inch or more there are about four centimeter the height loss in the ratio of further perspective height loss there about 0.8 inch or near about more than the two centimeter is there 0.8 inch means uh, about half uh, more than half inch is there or three four inches there uh, recent or ongoing long term that is a glucose uh, quality quality treatments are there in this case also this one conditions are there that is we offers conventional radiography is there that is a ls find in generalized osteopenial just you have to uh, listen this one this is not uh, just you have to mention all these things the uh, thing and the uh, activity of the cortex Acquisition in the primary uh, trabeculi and the thinning of the secondary uh, trabeculi is there vertically striated appearance vertebral body is there. Likewise, these are the killer killer corpus cores are there. Uh, that is the grading of the vertebral fractures are there. Uh, grade zero that is a normal one is there means in this case there is no deep. Uh, Osteoporosis conditions are there that she offers. Grade one, that is a mild, means slight care. Chances are there that she started here osteoporosis. 20 to 25 percent reduction of the any vertebral uh, height is there that is we appear. Grade second, moderate deformity means the losses of the to the bones are there that she offer about 25 to 40 percent reductions of the any vertebral height is there. That is offer grade three. That is a severe deformity. There is offer osteoporosis produces increase the radio uh, lency of the vertebral bone. Approximately thirty to eighty percent of the bone tissue must be lost before a recognizable abnormality. Means before this one, it should be recognized. Thirty to eighty percent losses are there that are already uh, only uh, per here and can be detected on the spinal radiograph lesions less than the two centimeter may escape the detection here that you have to be observed here the gaps are there which are to be observed these gaps are there this is near about uh, one percent are there this is about the two percent are there and these are the somewhat more are there so that the Sleep, we can say that the sleep disc problems are there which are to be appear means the this one problems are there that should be appear this is the second one uh, condition is there and this is the third one grade third one condition is there the di distance between the two one is there is much more easier then hip uh, x-rays are there if you are going to take this one x-ray you have to be observe this one the deformity conditions are there which are to be appear likewise disadvantage subjective effort by the body exposure to the positioning 30 percent of the bone loss should be present in this case bone uh, mineral density is there indication for the bone mineral uh, mineral density is the testing in uh, woman age uh, 65 or older uh, in men 70 the older density is there that should be tested uh, the post menopausal woman and the men's at the age of 50 to uh, 69 uh, 
based on the risk factor profile that is also uh, the bmd that is a bone mineral density is there that is also shake depends on that the osteoporosis condition is there is to be determined the dual uh, energy x-ray resorption uh, that is a dxa facility are using accepted quality assurance measures are there that are to be conducted and that is bmd is there is to be performed these are the some of the child sites are there by which you can get this one that is the ionizing traditions and how much of the calcium and the risk are there that are present in the heap and the spine that is to be detected and DEXA scan uh, commercially introduced in 1800 uh, 1987 the principle is the two ray x-ray likewise the things are there that is there that is to be present then definition of the t and the c zones are there and the this uh, t score is there that should be calculated by the patient's uh, measure of bmd is there minus mean bmd of the young normal population and divided by the standard deviation of the bmd is there that should be uh, conducted in case of this one then uh, the Z score is similarly calculated comparing the this one. Just here to think over that one, how the T score is calculated, how the Z score is calculated. For the calculation of the Z score, the patients measure BMD minus B mean BMD of the age match group. What are the person of the same groups are there? Only that persons are there that should be taken and divided by the a standard deviation of the BMD of each match group is there that is to be calculated. Bone turnover markets are there that is markers are there that is to be here. Then biochemical markers of the bone turnovers are there predict the these of the some of the markers are there that is also present that indicate the factors conditions are there then bone marrow densities are there that uh, independently independently of the bone dis, uh, density in the where type of the tests are there that is also performed such as the bone density tests are there that are to be performed depends on that where bones uh, strength is there that is to be determined then predict the magnitude of the increase in the bmd with the fad approval therapies are there that are also determined then uh, WHO facts uh, sorting tool. These are uh, this is the forms are there by which we have to be filmed. And on this way, the your BMD is there is to be calculated. Age of the person, date of birth is there, sex, weight, uh, then height, then previous fractures when they should be occurred, then patient fracture, where it should be found, hip or other are there then current smoking conditions are there glucocorti means all these factors are there that are also taken to the consideration while calculating uh, this one uh, bmd is there okay then following assessment of the factors uh, risk using the facts are there that is a low risk versus the lifestyle uh, uh, advice and uh, uh, reassess in the more than five years depending on the clinical context are there then intermediate trees are there measure the bmd and recalculate the factor risk to determine whether the individual risk lies above or below the in intervention threshold level is there then high risk condition is there can be considered uh, for the treatment without the need of the bmd although the bmd measures may sometimes be appropriate particularly in case of the younger and all these things indicate that what type of the precautions and the condition are there that are we suggested to the low risk person then intermediate risk patient then high risk patients are there then uh, how the results are there that are to be checked okay managements are there and uh, then non-pharmacological preventions of the osteoporosis and the osteoporotic factor that is a nutrition is also which type of the nutrition are there that should require then lifestyle what type of the actions are there uh, <coughs> which type of the activity that you have to be performed which type of the 
uh, habits you have like what the lifestyle is there which type of the food at what time you have to consume what should uh, you have to do what should you have not to do then prevention on the fall then hip uh, protectors are there likewise the different uh, type of the precautions are there that are suggested then basic therapeutic measures are there vitamin d and the calcium supplements are there that are to be given uh, for the uh, to have a strain to the bones then estrogen and the uh, hr are there that are to be given then anti resorptive agents such as your ca calcitonin are there then these phosphorus tablets are there then serum then like other uh, that are to be performed then drug stimulates bone formation such as your sodium uh, chlorides then are the like with the vitamin analogs are there or the various vitamin d uh, supplements are there that are to be given drug with the the relaxants are the serotonin or the and is there that to be given to this one uh, patients non pharmacologic uh, treatments are there then a uh, diet is there that you suggested just have to take the if you know that uh, which type of the diet is there uh, through which uh, uh, we get the calcium then for the absorption of the calcium what is required such as the vitamin d is the most important one so movement in the early uh, morning in the sunlight is there is with the it is essential then calcium uh, contributors are there such as the dairy products where the main if you go cheese ice cream are there that are to be consumed vitamin d contribute the fatty fish and p uh, and foil foods are there that are to be given to this one then lifestyle physical activity weight bearing or the muscle strengthening exercise are there that are to be performed exercise improve the bone strain to near about 30 to 50 percent is important one then cessation of the smoking alcohol high caffeine intake uh nowadays uh, most of the people are there that are not going to <clears throat> consume the tea as well as the coffee because no they know that the calcium losses is there should occur because of the excess amount of the tea as well as the ca- coffee because it contain caffeine and caffeine it causes the calcium loss adequate sun exposure is also the important one <clears throat> preventions of the fall you have to take the uh, precautions exercise uh, while performing the exercise like balancing training or the lower limb uh, stretching exercise you should not fall on the ground <coughs> or any hardened uh, space so that the bone fracture may not occur correction of the sensor impairment like the correction of the low vision and hearing impairments are there so in that case you must have to take the precautions for the proper listening or proper vision reduce environmental hazards then appropriate reduction of the medications you should take the medications at what time that are to be asked uh, in which condition before meal after meal with meal without meal likewise the conditions they are to be mentioned education of the individual in the behavior strategy how to behave how to uh, control on your behavior um, like what the conditions are there that are to be performed in case of the prevention of the fall then here there is a hip protectors are there that are to be given so that when you have to be fall on the hip uh, your hip uh, may get protected and there is no direct impact on the pelvic injury then energy absorption type is there then energy shunting types are there then crash helmet type is there air bag type is there likewise the very shape of the precautions for the devices are there that are to be utilized for protecting the hip in pharmacological prevention of the osteoporosis the mean age of 50 to 70 should uh, consume near about 1000 mg per day of the calcium in case of the woman Uh, that is we consume about 1200 mg of the uh, calcium per day intake uh, in the excess of above this one uh, it increases the risk of developing the kidney stone and then cardiovascular disease or the stroke condition so that you must have to consume up to this one particular limit which is we easily metabolize easily reabsorb into your body vitamin d 800 to 1000 uh 
international units vitamin per day is there should be required for the adult vitamin d deficiency uh, in this case the vitamin d uh, deficiency uh, tablets are there that is available uh, sorry capsules are there that is available so that uh, it should be given to the patients where the vitamin d is increases near about about 13 nanogram per ml this revenue should be uh, followed by maintenance therapy about 1500 to 2000 international units per day in case of the treatment of uh, hip or vertebral fractures clinically the apparent found on the vertebral uh, imaging area in this case the t score is there is also taken to the consideration low bone marrow density is uh, at what type of the treatments are there that should be required to this one are there that is we consider then by this uh phosphatase uh, are there an analogous to the pyrophosphate is nothing but the this phosphate is their mechanism of action is there is attached to the bone remodeling um, sites this um, phosphatase is there is alternative to the pyrophosphate which is attaches to the bone remodeling site and it causes the apoptosis of the osteocytes by disturbing the cytoskeleton and uh, the decrease in the bone uh, osteoporosis condition is there should be occurs in case of this one then uh, alpha donate is the one with prevention 5 milligram this is the one just you have to go through this one uh, these are the treatments are there not you no need to understand fully okay uh, uh, abandonate is the one is there the dose is there is about 150 milligram monthly tablet and three milligram every three months by the intravenous injections are there that are to be given drug safety are the data to be calculations are the data to be given uh, for this one that is uh, all by force by force for uh, needs are the data to be given um, by this way is there this is the calculations are there that is given the hormone replacement therapies are there that is estrogen with or without the progestin is used also relieve the symptoms of the post menopausal symptoms uh you know uh, genetic uh, atrophy is there dose of this one is there that is about 0. 0.625 milligram uh daily and the root is there oral or the transdermal root is there that is one up to here i'll show you this one uh, diagram that is a uh, the of in inhibitors are there uh, such type of the drugs are there that are to be given. Uh, the side effects are there that is the hypocalcemia, skeletal or the skin fractures are there that are to be observed. These are the dose are there of this one particular drug. Uh, prevention and the treatments are there means uh, not to offer this one disease. You have to take this one and up, once you get this one, you have to continue this one particular treatment. Like what the treatments are there. And surgical management, you know that uh, the surgical management choice of the implants are there. Uh, likewise, the screw uh, bending the loads are there that is be carried out. Such so, type of the supports are there that you have to be observed. Many times you have to be observed that the rods are there that are placed in the bones when the uh, much more fractures are there or the shorter fractures are there in the bone or bone is cut into the smaller part. In that case, uh, bones are joined by using these one rods. So that uh, in case of the old patients, uh, such type of the treatments are there that are to be given when near the knee. Uh, a placement treatment is there should be required. So uh, in this case, the such type of the plates are there that are to be attached to the tibia fibula and to the femur, <coughs> so that the there's not much more load is there should be observed on this one uh, particular knee is there. The load sharing is there it should be carried out in case of this one uh, surgical treatment just like this one surgery that are to be appears uh, these are the some of the fractures are there and these are the screws are there that are to be inserted in the patients likewise the treatments are there that are to be given okay osteoporotic tabular bones are there 
this ones are the data to be inserted some of the antioxidants are there that are also given uh, to the uh, osteoporosis condition is your omega-3 fatty acid which is the most important one either vitamin k supplements bone strength and reduces likewise in this way the osteoporosis there is competitive 